Hi, and welcome to Colorlib Video Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to take you through the Teich theme options. To do this, navigate to your WordPress dashboard, then go to Appearance and select Customize. You will be redirected to this page here, where you can access the theme options. Click on it to proceed. Teich theme options contains five sections, namely General, Site Identity, Colors, Footer, and Contact Page. Let's first start by editing the general theme information. Here you can enable and disable header top bar, breadcrumbs, and banner in the header. You can also change your shop layout by clicking on the options provided here. We have two types of banners that you can add to your site, Image or AdSense. Click on one to choose. Let's choose AdSense. Here you will be presented with an empty space to add AdSense code. Copy and paste the code here. Once done, click on the back button to return to the previous page and edit other menu options. Site identity is crucial for every website. These are your logo, site title, tagline, and site icon. Click on Select Logo to upload logo from your computer directory. Type in your site's title, tagline, and upload your site's icon image. Go back when done. The next of option is your website color. Teich Theme has seven predefined color schemes that you can click on and view the changes instantly take effect. You can change the header text color using the button on top here. The default color is white. With the footer option, you to change the layout of your footer as well as modify the copyright content to suit your requirements. Click on the type of layout you want. Click on the box provided here to change the text. You can disable the copyright content by clicking on sliding button here. Lastly, add your contact information to your contact page via the contact page link. On the new window, type in your contact phone and contact address. Next, add contact form shortcode. You can find the code from the Contact Form 7 plugin. This is one of the recommended plugins when you install the theme. If you have not installed it yet, go back to your dashboard and hover your mouse on Plugins, then select Add New. Search for Contact Form 7. Install the plugin and activate it. Once you are done with the activation, click on Settings. On the new window, you will be presented with Contact Forms. This is where you will find the required short code. Hover your mouse to the short code position and right click on it, then copy. If you are using a Mac, click and press Command plus C. Note that you can edit the form by hovering your mouse over the form name and selecting edit. Here, you can modify information like the recipient address. Once done, copy the code and go back to theme options. Paste the code on contact form shortcode box. Make sure your contact page is open so as to preview your changes. Next is the Google Maps shortcode. Make sure huge IT Google Maps plugin is installed. Links to these plugins will also be mentioned in the description below. Again, this plugin is recommended at the time of installing the theme. Next step is to go to Google Maps on your dashboard below here and click on it. This is where we will set your first map. Before you begin using Google Map plugin, all Google Map users are required to have API key for it to function. Click on the link provided here to register for Google Maps API. This will open on a new tab where you'll be required to register a project. Check on yes for both and agree and continue. Put a name for your key and check on your preferred key restrictions and select Create. Once it's done creating, copy the API key created. Go back to WordPress and paste the key here. Click Save. 
What follows after this is adding a new map. Click on add new map. On the new window, you will see the options for you to add your address. In this video, I will add center address under general options and a marker under markers. Once done, I will save my changes and copy the code below here. Once we have the code, we will go back to the theme options menu and paste the location link here. You will see the preview on your right. Use the plus button on the map to zoom in your map closely. Once you are happy and satisfied with your changes, save and publish it. You can now preview your site with the new changes. Congratulations, you have successfully edited and modified your theme options. In our next video, I am going to walk you through the Teich header menu slash navigation and social icons. For support on related questions, it is better to ask on support forum as they have more knowledge than me at colorlib.com slash wp slash forums slash forum slash teich. This link is available below in the description area below. Last but not least, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep you up to date with the latest WordPress theme tutorials.